Hello and welcome to Vegan Cafe 21. Today we are making homemade almond milk. To make our almond milk, we will use one cup of raw almonds that have been soaking overnight in about three to four cups of filtered water. And to blend it into milk, we will use anywhere from four to five cups of water. If you want to keep it a little thicker, keep it to four cups of water. I'm using four and a half cups and to it we will add a pinch of sea salt. So let's get to it. I'm going to go ahead and rinse these almonds and get them to our high power blender jar. I am ready with my almonds. Drain them, rinse them thoroughly and in they go. To this I'm going to add a scant pinch of sea salt and four and a half cups of water. I'm going to reserve a little bit of it to use in our second grind. Put a lid on nice and tight. Start on low speed first. Once you have it going, then you can increase it to full speed and blend it for a good minute to minute and a half. All right, so now in this bowl here i'm going to place our nut milk bag if you don't have this bag you can use several layers of cheesecloth or a really really clean kitchen towel a thin kitchen towel through which you can pass the liquid now all you need to do is this just squeeze out the liquid through the bag. One thing to be mindful of is to have your equipment very, very clean. So in the first press, I'm not really going to go too far because we are going to extract some more goodness out of this nut pulp in our second blend. So I'm gonna bring back the jar. And this water that we had reserved from the four and a half cups initially, I'm going to add that in and blend it again for about a minute. And we are ready to strain this as well. This time we are going to squeeze all the goodness out of it. There you have it. That's all we've got left. You can either discard this nut pulp or you can use it in making your breads, pancakes, what have you. A cup of almonds and four and a half cups of water gave us about four and a half cups of almond milk. So now we're going to pour it into this nice clean bottle. Place a lid. There you have it. Homemade almond milk ready for us to enjoy whenever we are in the mood. It can be stored in your refrigerator and consumed within three to four days. It's great to make desserts with, enjoy it in your teas, coffees, or just a cup full. Hope you enjoyed this recipe. I'll see you again soon with more vegan favorites.